Lads and lassies, today I woke up to some very sad news, and that is the news of the passing of NASA astronaut Michael Collins. Michael Collins was the pilot of the Apollo 11 mission in 1969, which landed Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on the moon. He himself didn't set foot on the moon because somebody needed to uh, to fly the crew module around and uh, wait for those boys to come back. Um, he was a U.S. Air Force Major General. And, uh, and by all accounts, uh, an all-around great man. And as I say, sadly, he did pass away uh, as a result of his ongoing fight with cancer. So I think we can all uh, agree that uh, it's always a sad day when somebody dies. But having uh, you know somebody who's a hero to so many pass away in such a way is, uh, is very sad. And uh, may he rest in peace. Good afternoon, lads and lassies. The Irish Demon here, back with another video. Now, as I mentioned, sadly, astronaut Michael Collins passed away at the age of 90 following a, a pretty long battle with cancer. And may he rest in peace. And uh, with that, I've decided to do a flat earth debunking video in his honor, wearing my NASA hat and this awesome shirt that Mrs. Demon got me, which I think is pretty fitting for this particular video. Anyway, let's have a look at this. So this video comes from the po the Potter's Clay, uh, who appears to be a flat earther. I've never actually come across this person before. I'm sure a lot of you probably have. And it's called What Goes Up Must Come Down. Now, I haven't watched this video yet. Somebody sent it to me and said, will you please review this? And that is exactly what I'm going to do. So let's get stuck in. Space shuttles and other space rockets arc and appear to fall back down in order to get into orbit. So before he even gets into it, I already know where this is going and it's going to be a gross misunderstanding of the basics of space flight and an absolute attempt to just lie. I, I can just sense it already from the way this guy is speaking. Sure, the altimeter never shows this arc, but that must still be the way to get into space. And I think it's interesting how the rockets have to fall to go up. Wow, this guy is coming in strong with the misunderstanding. Here's a globe. Yes, the altimeter will show it and it will continue to show it going up because no matter where you are on the globe, if you're going away from it, you're going up. Up and down are arbitrary. They don't exist in space. They're relative to your position on the planet. So as they fall over the planet, they gain speed, which in turn gains altitude and then they achieve orbit. And that's it. So the altimeter absolutely will show it. But then he talks about he doesn't understand why it needs to fall down to go up. Let me just grab my space shuttle and I'll show you. I can't believe I need toys to explain something to a grown man. But anyway, uh, here's the space shuttle. It takes off from the planet. As it goes over the curve of the Earth and falls what appears to be down from your point of view. It's going over the curve of the Earth and getting higher and higher as it goes around. That's some pretty simple stuff. I think children would be able to figure that out. But anyway, let me show it to you again. As you are looking at it, it's here, it goes up, and it falls around the edge of the Earth. And oh my God, it looks like it's dropping. But let's turn around and you'll see it's gained altitude. Wow. Kids, like literal child's play, literal child's play. In addition to pointing out this weird attribute, Flat Earthers have also made us aware that no one actually knows why these rockets arc like that as demonstrated by this parent here. Is that, uh, is that a plane or is it the rockets? Just before we get to what the parents' response might be, first of all, he straight up lied and said that nobody knows why rockets do that. Everybody that knows anything about rockets knows why that rocket does that. It, I just showed you with a toy. It's really simple stuff. And then he puts in highlights that the child is like, it's drifting, it's bad. No disrespect, I love children, but seriously, 
Who cares why the, what, six, seven-year-old has got to say about how a rocket is performing? Seven-year-olds don't decide whether a rocket's activity is nominal. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> nominal. Anyway, let's move on. Let's see what the, uh, the parent who's, what, a, a learned physicist has to say. Does it always go like that? Yep. It looks bad to me. It's in space. Or is it? Is that it? Yep, I think that's it. And <laughs> what does that prove? A child says, I think it looks bad. Again, no disrespect to the child, but the kid don't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way, there's no nice way of putting that. It's just, you know, it's a child. You don't expect them to understand how these things work. And his dad sounded so disinterested. He's like, yep, that's how it always works, kiddo. Kids ask irritating questions all the time, and that's fine. They should, because, you know, it's part of being a child. But uh, it, what does this prove? What does this prove? Some random that we can't even see, let alone know who he is or what his knowledge of rockets is, goes, yep, that's how it works. So technically he was right. I don't get your point in that. Is is it the child questioning it that you have a problem with? Children question shit all the time. Oh man, this is beautiful. Peter, for Sandy, is it turning or is the earth spinning? A rainbow. Sandy? It's not turning, the earth is spinning. Sandy? That's going straight up, it's just the earth is turning. We're moving away from it. So the fact of the matter there is, quite simply, that guy was just wrong. Um, he obviously just saw what he thought was the rocket going straight up and the earth spinning away from it. That's not true. I mean, he's just wrong. People can be wrong. And you can expect people that don't know anything about rockets who go and watch a rocket lift off. A lot of them are not going to know anything and a lot of them would be wrong in their thoughts. No, it's not the earth spinning away. The thing here is though, everything you're showing comports exactly with what you would expect on a globe. A 100%. Again, you would expect the rocket to go up and then start to turn over the edge of the earth to achieve orbit. That, that is exactly what we expect. And that is exactly what we see here. I, I don't understand why this is a difficulty. You see it go up and away over the horizon as it gains altitude. That is exactly what we would expect to see. Unbelievable. Like, you, do, do Flat Earthers not realize that most of the time they prove the globe all by themselves? Sometimes all they need us to do is just, just push it in the right direction so everybody can see. Oh yeah, these guys have no idea what they're talking about. Anyway, this next meme is just, okay, two designs look similar. Or it's not even a design. A design and an arc of a rocket look similar. So what? Who cares? A rainbow looks like the arc of a rocket too. Is that some other kind of conspiracy? I don't know. This just makes me laugh because those kids are so dumb that they don't understand that the rocket only looks like it's falling because the earth is turning. I don't understand why these space rockets look like they're falling back into the ocean, but we do know that they're in space because look at this actual NASA video of a satellite. And those dumb flat earthers say there are no actual photographs and videos of satellites in space. <laughs> Boy, they're wrong. Well, I think it looks so ridiculous and impossible. Um, and you can tell it's real because it looks so fake, honestly. <laughs> now, I'm not sure what that footage is of, what satellite it is, or if it's, a real, if it's meant to be a real video, or if it's meant to be... Uh, something that explains how satellites work. I actually don't know. Any of my space nerds in, this, in the, the chat or in the comments, just let me know down below uh, where that footage is from because I couldn't find it. But that's not the point. The fact of the matter is the science ad adds up. It, it works com completely perfectly on a globe. The, the flat earth model does not achieve anything. Everything is like, their whole thing is, well, it looks like this, so that's that's what it must be. 
The world don't work like that. And this is another thing that, that Flat Earthers always ask for, space deniers always ask for, is, oh, how come there's no footage of actual satellites in space? There's literally thousands of hours of footage of that. Go have a look at the SDS missions that worked on the Hubble Space Telescope. You can actually see the satellite right in front of you. But no, it's just CGI, bro. They, they, uh, no matter what you show these people, they're never going to accept it. That's just the way it is. They'll just always come up, oh, that's just CGI. I mean, you simply cannot win with these people. Give me strength, old spaghetti monster. There's a reason why that rocket didn't arc over the horizon, and it is simply because the object of that rocket was not to achieve orbit. It was to see how high it could go, and you say that it stopped for no reason. Well, no, we know exactly why it stopped. I've seen Flat Earthers claim that it was the rocket hitting the dome. They use what's called an anti-spin. Now, you can look this up. I'll show you some pictures of what the anti-spin is. Basically, as the rocket goes up, you can clearly see from the footage that it is spinning quite a lot. Now, sometimes that's done on purpose for stabilization. I believe that is the case in this scenario. What they de then do is they release uh, essentially two long pieces of cord with counterweights in the opposite direction to the spin, which immediately stops that spin from happening. You can look this stuff up. You can see it in action. You can actually go and buy one really cheaply Put it on your own rocket and test it out for yourself. But no, flat earthers don't test stuff. They just see things and go, well, that must be what that is. We know exactly what that is. That is not an orbital rocket. It was never meant to go around the curve of the earth. And they used an anti-spin to stop it. Simple. Really simple. It takes five or ten minutes to figure these things out. Why not just go to, you know, YouTube, which is your main area of, of gathering intelligence. Why not just go there and look at it? It's, it's right there. It's all explained in black and white. I challenge anybody here to go and have a look really quickly for a video of an anti-spin and you will see it in operation. Anyway, lads and lasses, before I continue with this video, just want to let you know, uh, I have slowed down putting things on this channel. I'm going to start trying to build it back up again. Uh, I got to be honest, I was a bit disheartened because I was demonetized by YouTube. So I get absolutely no revenue whatsoever for these videos. They've taken away my ability to have memberships, ad revenue, and super chats. So you, that's why you'll not see that option anymore on my channel. So if you do want to support this channel in other ways, you can hit the like button, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. If you would like to leave a super chat or a super duper chat, you can check out my PayPal or my Patreon down below, and it would be very, very much appreciated. Also, if you want to continue to support me as a creator, you can check out my other channels, The Lost Irishman and Irish Demon Reloaded. Um, so anyway, let's get back on with the video. Thank you, lads and lassies.
what do you think that proves showing the moon up over Australia you can see the moon because it's really far away just because it's over Australia on that map doesn't mean that the rocket can't see it when it goes up really really high how is this so hard to understand for these people I mean, I mean really is this trolling somebody tell me down below is this trolling because are we just wasting our time here? Actually, no, we're not wasting our time because some people will watch that video and think it's legit and that he's right. And hopefully they'll be guided to this video and see that it is absolute nonsense. Anyway, let's move on. So for those of you who are listening and not watching, uh, he had up on the screen, why don't NASA shoot rockets straight up? Well, first of all, they do in some respects, uh, sounding rockets and test rockets and stuff like that. But generally speaking, when NASA or SpaceX want to send a rocket up, they're sending it up to achieve orbit. To achieve orbit, you don't go straight up. If you were trying to escape Earth's sphere of influence, their gravitational sphere of influence, shooting straight up is not the way to go. Because if you go straight up, eventually you run out of fuel, and that's where you're right in what goes up must come down. So that's exactly why they need to shoot over the curvature of the Earth, gain enough speed so that they remain in orbit, and then fire their mortars while they're in orbit where there's absolutely no drag, so that fuel goes way further, way, way further. They still have the effects of gravity, absolutely, but they don't have that massive amount of drag that is slowing them down and causing them to need to burn way more fuel. That's why you have multi-stage rockets, etc. Anyway, lads and lasses, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. And if you come across any other crazy flat earth stuff that you want me to debunk, drop me an email, irishdemonvids at gmail.com or join my Discord. Link in the description down below. We are having lots of competitions over on the other channel. We're actually doing a massive... Um, uh, quiz championship and we've got some awesome guests already come on and some really awesome guests to come yet so definitely go over check that out if you want to sign up there's still loads of slots i think there's about 16 slots left so you can sign your name up uh we're going to do this live on the air all across the time spectrum so it doesn't matter where you live in the world we'll figure out a time slot for you anyway lads and lassies thank you so much i really appreciate you dropping by and slauncha